Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you Let's Play Brass 1.16. This series will have two playlists, one edited and one unedited. So make sure you're in the right one before you thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe for more modded Minecraft and if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Brass 1.16. So yesterday we made a, or not yesterday, a couple of days ago, we made uh, a tree farm from Create. We also set up these Hopper Botany Pots. Uh, they are running at 1300 wood each. Sweet. Let's check up on the tree farm real quick. I put a door over here. Uh, and it's raining. Let's see, after a little bit over 24 hours AFK, we have 30.5 thousand wood. Perfect. While I'm here, let me grab all of the sticks. Yeah, that's good. We'll grab all of the sticks. I put some armor sets over there to make some room in the random chest. Uh, so let's go back inside. I am really, really excited. I am super excited because today we are going to be making uh, my special design of uh, a Create Windmill. So the Create Mod Windmill, uh, its actual term to what I'm going to build is a vertical axis wind turbine. But no one on YouTube is going to search that term. So this is a Create Mod Windmill. <laughs> So we're gonna start off with making all of the uh, items required for it, of course. Oh, and I found out how to make this coffee machine work. You right click it with a coffee bean. Ding. There we go. Coffee, let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I found cocoa beans in a jungle. I can put that in here real quick since we're doing that. Uh, yeah, right here. There we go. And fill that back up. Now we have all 20s, so my OCD can relax a little bit. <laughs> okay, like I was saying, we're going to be making the uh, cool heist and speed. And pretty good dur duration on that as well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's make the stuff that we need for the windmill. So we need a windmill bearing. That's going to be a super important part. Except any forged stone, we need a shaft and another turntable. So let's go ahead, come on over here. And let's grab everything create related, like we always do. And let's put on the goggles so we can see our stress units and stuff. Wrenches on the hotbar. For the turntable, we're going to need a slab. There we go. And let's go... There it is. Turntable. And... Forge stone. So let's go ahead and grab a piece of gabbro. Okay. And there we go. Windmill bearing. So the windmill bearing, uh, the way the windmill works is it calculates either wool blocks or these sails right here, white sails, which the sails, you can make eight of them with one wool block. So eight times better. Uh, I Somewhere I read that these guys might cause lag. So uh, if you have a lag issue, go ahead and use wool. Uh, I have a bunch of different ways that I'm making wool. Uh, one of them, of course, is growing industrial hemp. These guys, one, two, three. These guys can be turned into string, like that. And then the string can be turned into wool, like that. Also, I have sheep in my cow farm, which uh, I can use the shears on. That is also a super fast way to get wool. And then uh, these plant fibers, uh, plant fibers can be turned into string as well, like that, and then the string can be turned into wool like that. So there's a bunch of different ways. Uh, some ways are going to be more efficient than others, but 
I'm going to be using the sales because I have not had any issues with FPS drops. Uh, and my specific design I'm super proud of. I'm going to need eight pieces of black wool because I'm also going to make this look good. Not only going to uh, make it functional, uh, it's going to create over 6,000 stress units. Uh, but I'm also going to uh, make it look good. That's important to me. And that's a painting. That's not what I want. Okay, so sail frames. Oh, okay, here we go. We need andesite. I almost made a whole bunch of paintings, guys. Sticks and andesite alloy. Do we even have any andesite alloy? We got 14. So how many do I need? If I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I only need 12 of the uh, andesite alloy for the sails that I want to make. Let's go ahead and drop these guys off in here. There we go. And then these sails, we're going to... There we go, 32 and 64. So a stack and a half, okay. All right, oak buttons, birch buttons, bummer. They won't stack. We don't need any more wool. We have all of the sails that we need. We have the black wool that we need. Let me drop off these cocoa beans that are in the way. All right, let's go windmill bearing, sail. To pull the power out of the bottom, uh, we can do a couple of gearbox and we can route the power. This guy's mainly going to be used to power the crushing wheels faster than two encased fans. That's It's atrociously slow. So let's see, what else do we need? I think the rest is aesthetics. No, we need super glue, guys. We need one iron sheet and an iron nugget and two slime balls. All right, so where's my iron hiding? Iron nugget, we don't have an iron sheet, and we need two slime balls. All right. Iron ingot. Bunk. Sheet, and two slime balls. Will make us the super glue that we need. This guy's important. We need this guy. All right, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some goofy scaffolding. So let's use dirt. It is dark, so let's sleep, and then we can put this guy on the roof of the extra building, exactly where I want to put it. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's go. Oh, I was about to say, did it not skip the rain? Good. There we go. New day, no rain. So what I want to do is I want to put the windmill bearing here. It is in the center of this room. This room has a glass ceiling so that we can see it from underneath. This windmill bearing, as you can see, it's already sticky. So let's see, can we offhand this? We need to do it the other way around. Right click. It's not going to work like that. Both of them need right click. So we need to super glue each piece of this guy or else the wool will not stick to each other. There we go. And eight. There we go. Eight black wool highs. So when we turn it on now, a mild breeze, it calculates eight pieces of wool, which make 512 stress units. Cool here okay let me check one more time to make sure it rotates counterclockwise okay so what i want to do is i want these guys to face me now so i'm going to shift right click the edge okay cool and from this point we can use the arrows to tell it which direction we want them to go we want them to go up like this up 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 and up can I reach more? Yeah. I can do one more row and then I need to use dirt to scaffold up. Come on. There we go. And then I want them all 
to face this way. Perfect. Like this. I'm going to go three in every direction. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Half a stack gone. Come on. It's showing me the arrow. There we go. All right. And like this. Shift boop. There we go. Three. There we go. I'm getting the hang of placing these guys now. All right. Shift boop. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, now we can scaffold up. All right, and these are gonna be the last 24. Here, here. Oh yeah, sideways goes too. Goes as well, I mean. Come on, okay. Sideways, yeah, there we go. Boop, 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 and boop. And then does it place them? Yeah, it places them the correct direction. Okay, and then we need to go on to the other side. There we go. And let's see, we should be able to reach all of them now. Up, 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 and up, up. There we go, that's all of them. It's almost painfully simple. And now, when this guy turns, look at that. I believe it is 14 rotations per minute, 13 or 14, and a total of 6,656 stress units. Wonderful. And it looks awesome. This is an actual windmill design. It is a vertical axis wind turbine but uh, since nobody searches that, it is the Create Mod Windmill. This is a fully functional windmill that looks great. And now I'm also going to do one extra thing because I want to customize this guy uh, to make it look even more individual. What I want to make is uh, two different color dies. So let's see, we need two pieces of Lapis for blue. We need a poppy for red. And we need green dye, which we can do in the millstone with poppies. Let me check real quick. Poppies. I got eight. So let's backboard these guys over here off the millstone. Backboard. Okay. And then hopefully we'll get lucky. It's a 5% chance to get a green. I have not found any uh, any cactus anywhere nearby. Uh, I need one red. There we go. Of course, we need purple. Oh, I need to turn it into dye. Then purple. Okay. And uh, I don't believe it uses up the dye. So, yes, we got green dye already. So, Oh no, I need to change this one. I don't know why this pack does that from time to time. Okay, blue and green makes cyan. Cool. So we have the two colors that I wanted to decorate the uh, create windmill with. And the style that I'm going to go with is checkerboard purple. Yeah, it doesn't use the dye. Perfect. So checkerboard purple like this. And then let me make sure that I paint this correctly. You can use white dye to color over this, so you don't have to worry about messing up. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, I only need to use three. And then I'm going to alternate. So cyan and purple. One, two, three. There we go. And purple. One, 
two, three. And cyan. One, two, three. Cool. Three. Awesome. There we go. What do you guys think? I love it. I think it looks great. What's awesome is it's going to run uh, 6,656 stress units, and then we can also see it through the roof. When we're in this room over here, we can see it spinning. And then in here, we can see it spinning up there. That's our windmill. And then uh, what we can do is we need to reroute the power now. So let's go ahead, we can get rid of this block. Here we go. We can put in a vertical gearbox. We need one, and then we need two vertical gearbox. So let's go ahead and start working on a gearbox. We need, let's go, gearbox. And Put the bookmark back up. Okay, we can make one. We need more cogwheels. We need more andesites. All right, andesites and cogwheels and another gearbox. Cool. So both of these guys need to be vertical. Let's drop off the plank that we have. We can go outside real quick, drop off the sticks. I have an inventory full of sticks right now. 88. All right, here we go. This guy does have a void upgrade inside to get rid of all this stuff. And this guy so far has an inventory upgrade, 32 times base value. Uh, Cause that's the whole point is to make wood, right? So what's the point of uh, uh, voiding it? right <laughs> okay so vertical uh, it doesn't don't think it really matters we can just jump straight up here there we go and then that will let us pull it to the side and which direction should we go I'm thinking we go this direction we can pull it that way we can put another vertical we need shaft let's see we have two. We need more andesite. Uh, let's go 16. I figured out that you can make 16 uh, andesite alloy at a time. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I'll just count. There we go. All right. This guy is automated. So 16, 16. Let this go, it is nighttime, so let's sleep while the andesite alloy is being made. And so tree explode in the background. Okay, what else do we need? Do we have uh, andesite casing, so we can turn the shaft into andesite encased shaft. It won't look weird going through glass. We have our two rotation speed controllers. That's going to be required next time for the crushing wheels and the ore washing setup. Vertical gearbox. I need to clear my throat for everyone. That's a warning if you're wearing here uh, headphones. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's go. 34 sounds good, and then andesite casing. So let's go on the roof. It's probably gonna be easier to uh, drop this stuff down here. Unfortunately, this glass is gonna break. Let me turn this guy off for just a second. It's pushing me out of the way. We're gonna go this way. Okay, so shaft. 
this. All right, and then, hmm. The wheels are going to be here. So we need to go past this. Like that. We need to go past this guy. This is where the wheels are gonna be. The rotation speed controllers are gonna be here. So now we can go vertical gearbox. Like that, cool. And then we can bring this shaft down. All right. And I guess we can shift and walk through here. Do I not fit? I should fit if I shift, there we go. All right, it does kind of look cool if I left it open like that. Because the whole point of making glass ceiling is so that we can see the sky. I don't think it'll rain through that, so let me, that'll be the deciding factor, I guess. What we can do is this, this guy needs to be andesite casing. There we go. That just looks a little weird. I think I like that. That looks cool. What do you guys think? Do you, does this look fine? And then what's bugging me is I put this paper lantern here because of these three spots. So I really hope I can put the lantern here and still have it cover. Whoops, I lag spiked right on my jump. Oop. Nice, okay, cool, I'm glad. Symmetry, you know? It'd drive me crazy. That looks good, I like that. All right, and then here, it might need to go lower, huh? I might need to go, I have to actually go this way. And then let's see. Give myself a breakaway hole, just for right now, because this is more or less prep for next episode. Like that. Because I don't want the large cogwheels from the uh, rotation speed controllers to clip. Let's see. We can put the super glue up. We don't need that right now. I keep picking up the hand crank. I don't need this guy anymore. We can drop off the paved gabbro. Or no, I'm going to hold on to that. I might put that back into play. Oh, what I wanted to check is I probably have a spot here. Now, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, we can put the torch here. It'd be funny if it would turn the torch. No, it doesn't turn the torch. Okay, we get rid of F7. All right. This looks good. I like this so far. Oh, and I made a uh, rat lantern. So it's it's a rat face on a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> oh, and I added barrels up here for foods which I'm starting to work on making the foods not eaten yet, and whenever I need it, I just take one out and munch on it. This is the stuff that's already been eaten. Stitch the dyes. Could use one of the barrels for just to store dye. We need this, we don't need shafts, not yet. The rotation speed controllers, we need another large cog wheel. And that was uh, slaps, right? Did I put all of my andesite over here already? I still have it in my inventory. I believe if I remembered it correctly. Be really cool if, uh, no, it's not that. No, cog. Be really cool if we could make different color cogs with the different color woods. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, so let's drop off this large cog wheel. Don't think we're gonna need this stuff. We can drop off the buttons, the radial chassis. I'll keep the andesite casing, drop off the alloy. We have some wood over here. Let me keep the the this stuff in my inventory just to 
see if we need to put this back together. Okay, we're going to need another vertical gearbox so that we can put it into both of the rotation speed controllers. All right, we're missing the small gears I just dropped. Do I have? Cool, I have enough. But now I don't have uh, andesite casing anymore just in case I want to right click vertical. All right, so let's see if we can set this up. Hmm, how do I want this to look? I want the shaft to come down one more. Like that into the vertical gearbox. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Let's see, I can wrench this, right? There we go. Come on, buddy, like this. Right. There we go. Now it's going sideways. Rotation speed controllers. Not like that. Yes, like that, actually. Okay, so the cog wheel. Hmm, yeah. It's going to clip. One here, one here. Maybe it won't look too silly since the crushing wheels are gonna go in front of it. Hmm, tough decisions. We can put the Gabbro back in place though. Like this. All right, and let's see. Calibrating we can do when we put up the crushing wheels, right? I guess it could come down one more. Because it's going to be really high, huh? Is that too high? That's the question. Let's bring it down one more. this how I can do this there we go and we need one more shaft to bring it down lower vertical gearbox I'm gonna put on this way now rotation speed controller speed controller gear gear gabbro That looks okay. Hmm. The clipping is really bad looking. You guys know me, I want it to look good too. I don't just want it to be functional. I guess like looking out, seeing that there's a hole behind it isn't going to be that bad, right? Hmm. I wish, I really, really, really wish for vertical slabs now. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, vertical slabs, please. Let's see, is there... There probably isn't. I could do the sails. I could do sails. Let's see, anything? No, bookshelves would be weird. Half drawers? Would that look weird? just to fill in the space, you know? Oh, it's the water wheels that are made with slabs. What is that? A birch seat. Nope. Hmm. 
Let me check the recipes to the stone cutter. I know it's supposed to cut stone. Can you give me, it's not, it's a brick wall. No. Gabra wall, maybe? There's 387. What is that? A vertical slab. I almost gave up, too. Okay, so let's see if we can do a vertical slab with Gabra. We'd need four. Because I'm pretty sure I can't do ha a half vertical slab. Okay, so four. Can I use this guy? Gabriel wall, Gabriel stairs, paved. Let's see. Regular Gabriel. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Okay. Vertical. see it over here maybe gabbro can't be made into vertical slabs vertical oh is it a straight up cork recipe cork i will love you forever i love you cork what up? You learn something new every single day. I've been playing modded Minecraft for two years, and I finally learned that you can make... Yeah, boy. Yes! How do I fix that? <laughs> uh, if I had chisels and bits, I'd just fill it in with bits, right? If I did an upside down stair, it would just make a hole. But like what, what bothers me more, that or a hole in the wall? Hmm. If I put a hole in the wall, I'm gonna start making symmetrical holes in the wall everywhere. <laughs> uh, this looks like, I don't even know if I like this. Uh, I don't know. But vertical slabs. I won't drive you guys crazy with building. I don't know if you guys appreciate this kind of stuff. Uh, stripped oak does not go here. Stripped oak goes here. Alright. And now we can drop off the gabbro. Did I need any? That looks fine, right? It's driving me crazy, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that uh, I'm wasting a lot of time that we, we, we could be doing awesome things streaming. Uh, I'm wasting time with this wall driving me crazy. The calibration on this guy is going to be pretty funny, though. Let's see real quick. The... Oh, I can't see it from here, so I have to go upstairs. I believe it was 6,656. If I'm going to dedicate this guy only... Okay, 6,656. Let me bust out the calculator real quick. This is kind of silly. Calculator. 6656. Crushing wheels are times 8, so divided by 8 is 832. And then it's split between two crushing wheels. So another divided by 2, 416. So each of the uh, rotation speed controllers can go up to 416. Oh cool, it's snowing guys. Let's go. 
Scroll wheel. Nope. There we go. 416 each. It's going to be ridiculous. Like, I'm, there, I'm definitely not going to run this guy. Is... I could have sworn there's a, an option to go up by uh, 16s. Come on. I want to see how ridiculous this is. 416. I'm surprised it lets you go up this high. It's probably going to bug out and it's going to look like it's going the opposite direction. Oh, wait. Yeah, this one. Oh. This one goes up to 416. The other one needs to go to negative 416. So now I have to rotate it to over 800 in the opposite direction. <laughs> if this bothers you, you can skip just a little bit. 416. All right, and then this guy needs to go towards, so we need to go negative. It might even be better to do this. Okay, don't shift. No, it's 24 there we go okay whoops okay so it can go up to negative 512 okay okay so don't hold shift shift is for single digits negative 416 all right negative 416 and 416 so now they're turning towards each other at uh, breakneck speeds. And it's snowing. I'm happy that it snows. Serene Seasons is a beautiful mod. And attaching crushing wheels to that is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go ahead and... Uh, go mining for a little bit gearbox the dies and the super glue bees we could either go mining or we can go bee hunting i don't really need anything right now mining and get more ores i guess yeah let's just go dedicate the rest of the episode to mining so that we can get uh a whole bunch of ores to process for the crushing wheels for next episode. All right, and it is sunrise, I'm assuming. Let's go. Let me see, I have coal and I don't have any sticks. Let me grab a, a stack of sticks just in case. I wanna be prepared be kind of goofy to run out of sticks. There's no, uh, what's it called? There are no stone sticks since there's no tinkers. All right, steak and potatoes. Let's grab the bottom row here and let's change it to normal as well since i'm not doing a uh a build guide right now we can go get some spawners as well let's go am i wearing my good armor oh yeah i got refined obsidian boots as a drop super lucky durability is almost gone so i should have brought i should have brought the boots with me just in case i break these boots Let's go. Let's just mine every single ore that we can find, except for zinc, because we have a mega deposit. We don't need zinc. Oh, look, another spawner. Cool. Get out of here. Bye. Okay. 
Nice. Spider spot, cave spider, don't want that. Peekaboo. I wonder if they're not aggroing because it's uh, daytime outside. No, right? Light level. Let's grab some bauxite. This is gonna be the aluminum. Let's do F7 so we can see where spawns are. And head into the unknown. We have copper over there. We got a skelly bro that I'm just gonna bum rush. Hopefully. All right. I'm feeling this is gonna spill, right? Yeah, wait for it. No. Does that mean this guy's not gonna spill? Okay. Hmm. Can I steal it? Yep. Before it does that. Oh yeah, the mine shaft. The the mine shaft that we found, we can do that. I don't need coal. Uh, aluminum is going to be in uh, immersive engineering, which as soon as we got the crushing wheel down, it's uh, time for immersive engineering. We're going to be making steel going into the steel age. There we go. Grab this iron. I want to find some spawners. I want to see if there's even better loot in this pack. It's got some osmium. Just one piece. I was about to say, where did that arrow come from? Got him. And a spawner down here. We got rails. Let me pick up these rails. Powered rail. Don't need to make that now. down here? Nah. Oh cool, we got a minecart. Powered rail. I have an idea with these rails now. With the bee farm. Alright. What is that? It's tin, right? Yeah. What's funny is as soon as uh, as soon as we have let's see let's put all the cubes in here as soon as we have a uh, bees going on uh, we're we don't need the crushing wheels anymore. <laughs> That's kind of I'm kind of bummed. I love create. But as soon as we have bees and uh, centrifuge, steel, we no longer need to go mining. This is my silk touch one I don't want to use. That's my fortune. I don't want to use this one. I'm going to use a diamond pick. I'm already used to that efficiency four. Wow. Yeah. Efficiency four really does make a big difference. Uranium, let's go ahead and start gathering this stuff. I really don't think I'm going to need it anytime soon. It's probably going to be important for uh, uh, RF tools. I checked. There's no advanced rocketry. So I'm pretty sure the last age is going to be RF tools, but I don't know what they're going to call it. It's because you can't call it Space Age if we don't go to space. Or can you? Copper. We're going to need to breed uh, copper and tin bees I, and osmium bees don't think that I have encountered them in the wild. I keep running into uh, iron bees, diamond bees, redstone, lapis, coal. What other ones have I run into? 
uh, ICB, the RGB, the one that makes the dyes. But none of the other ores that we're going to need. I have not found tin or copper or osmium bees in the wild. wouldn't mind finding some more diamonds before we get diamond bees going. We are not going to be able to use the diamond bees to make diamonds until we have an enrichment chamber from uh, mechanism. Because the uh, honeycombs, they will centrifuge into uh, powder, diamond powder, diamond dust. and not into diamonds. So then we need to turn the diamond dust into uh, diamonds by running them through the enrichment chamber for mechanism, which mechanism is gated behind uh, immersive engineering. As far as I understand, uh, bronze can mine everything diamond can mine. I used bronze to gather uh, obsidian, so using your diamonds for uh, different recipes in blocks would be a better idea than making your tools out of diamond. Just make your tools out of bronze, since it's cheaper and it does the same. Bronze Paxel is my 12 damage weapon. Six, four, one. Yeah, it's my main weapon. I just, I'm, I'm really glad I got Silk Touch. Speedy boy. Gotcha. Hi, bye. It took me a while to get the, the Silk Touch. Dimensional shard, are those affected by fortune? Don't think so. What did I do here? Some bad torch placement. Let me not use my fortune pick. There we go. More bauxite for more aluminum, which is not going in my inventory. Come on, bro. Getting hit by mobs really isn't a problem because then I can eat and that will uh, hook me up with more hearts, rails, frappe, whoops, oh, I don't like the point of view change. What do I have? Fire resistance and speed two, okay. Let's eat squid ink pasta. There we go. The only thing that kind of drives me crazy is placing the torch after eating. Looks like I could use regular coffee for the haste. I can mine faster. Speed racer. Oh, hello. This is definitely going to be the supply run that gets us all the way through to bees. Tin. We're going to make enough to be able to make bronze. And iron, and 
and all that good stuff. It's been really uh, light on iron. Like, I haven't needed to make a crazy amount. And it looks like he's trying to hold a bow. Alright, I do need to switch. Total damage. Looks like there's a spawner up here, right? Gotta be. Whoa, okay. Bro. Got him. Alright, where's the spawner? Let's just do this. Another enchanting table. And I finally, I guess I got the armor and everything finally up to where I don't need. Did it? Oh, it's silk. Silk touch works on vanilla spawners? Since when? It's weird. Has it always? Or is that a 116 thing? Spawner harvester? Can I am my mind is blown right now. Guess I could make a mob farm. Mob farm could be turned into EMC. No, I'm thinking of the wrong pack now. There's no EMC in this pack. Sorry if I got anyone excited. This pack, what I would really love for, for it to be patched in is like a crazy grindy, not crazy, but like a, a, a uh, an advancements kind of thing like turn in 10,000 pieces of uh, wood or something like that to make, you know, make you need or want to make a, uh, whatchamacallit, a create tree farm. Don't need the full stack. In hindsight, I should have done, uh, this stuff instead of blocks, tin and a site. Stone. Oh, I'm going to be silk touching stone. I guess it's a good idea. Lead. Spawner, though. That's pretty cool. We went over on uh, two enchanting tables. Wow. Granite, stone, limestone. Stacks. Enchanting tables. All right. Was I saying, oh man, I already forgot if I was saying something. Boop. We got some spiders. Let's go. We got copper, we got tin. some diamonds, but I need to go way lower. More copper, a zombie. We could go all the way down there. Bye! Oh, maybe it's a spawner. Hello. Really? Do, am I really using this many? Okay, it's sorry that it's dark. I'm gonna make some torches. 16 sounds good. There we 
There we go. All right, that's our timer. Let's see, I was curious, since that was a stray, is there a spawner around the corner? Whoop, lag spike. Yeah, probably not. All right, we can call it here. Uh, we are just guy I'm an idiot. What hit me? Hey, there's that spawner I was looking for. Can I parkour that? They're on fire. Parkour. Nope. I want to get the spawner real quick. And then, uh, yeah, so let me do my outro while I'm working. Uh, be sure to hit the follow button on twitch.tv slash ddanicus. Uh, I have a good feeling that I'm going to be streaming every Wednesday. So here are, is the inside of the chest. I'll grab this and teleport home. There's diamonds. There we go. There we go. Now we can end the stream. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you guys go being here. There's a baby zombie on a chicken. And uh, I hope you have a good night. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it, and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. But be sure to yell boom really loud when you do, loud enough to scare me in Texas. <laughs>